hello everyone welcome back to my channel so in today's video you guys are seeing me completely barefaced first yeah uh, that is because I am not going to be doing a full face tutorial um, I'm going to be just concentrating on the eyes because I really want to give you guys some of my tips and tricks for a cut crease for a hooded eye now my eyes are not just hooded if you can see when I open up my eye they do go in and I have this bit of skin hanging over my eye so that's what makes it hooded it hides some of my lid this is not lifted. However, I also have really deep set eyes. So I do have to follow some steps that I have figured out what works for me. Of course, what works for me may not work for you. Um, like I said, these are just tips and tricks that I use that I would like to share with you guys. Um, I know a lot of people do that whole, um, you know, put the concealer on the lid and then look up. That does not work for me. That is a hot mess. <laughs> I cannot use that trick so um let's go ahead and jump right in what i'm also gonna be doing this is gonna be my very first time playing in this palette i'm so excited um it's so much prettier in person i know there's been so many reviews done on this already so you guys probably don't want to review but if you do let me know down below and i will definitely do that for you guys <sighs> but yes i haven't even swatched it yet Look how pretty it is. Oh, I love it so much. I've been, I have been seriously like dying to get my finger in these. They're so pretty. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Now I did order some new Sigma brushes. Yay. I'm so excited. If you guys know, um, I love Sigma brushes. They are some of my top brushes. Um, I pretty much use Sigma Wet n Wild and Real Techniques ColourPop, yes. Those are like my top brushes that I use repeatedly. I am an affiliate with Sigma. You can use the code Cassie and get 10% off if you guys want to. Um, however, they do run some amazing sales. I was able to catch these at 30% off. So just keep your eye out for that. These are some great brushes and they also give um, a two year warranty on these suckers, so. <sighs> yes. Um, to prime my eyes. Normally I use my Urban Decay Primer Potion, um, but I have really been loving this Sigma Eyeshadow Base Primer. And the reason I have actually grown to like this more um, is because it gets rid of all my discoloration. I actually have redness up in here. You can see my veins, my lids a little bit darker. So I like to cover that up. Okay, I don't even know what to do. I'm so excited. Okay, so I'm gonna take my E40 and I'm just gonna actually start with Bare and I'm going to put that all over my lid. Okay, so I'm going to start with uh, Tickle, this one right here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that above my crease. Now, because I have hooded lids, I do have to create a new crease, so I'm going to bring this up really high, almost touching my, um, my eyebrows, so way up here, and this is where I start off my very first shade. So just like that, I have it really high above my crease. 
almost touching my brow bone. You can see there is a little bit of space in between my brow bone, but not very much. Let's go ahead in with Tease, which is this color right here. And I'm going to basically do the same exact thing, only bring it just a tiny bit lower. Not too much. You don't want to put this right in the crease because it will disappear once you, well, once I open my eye, it will disappear. So I do have to bring it high up again to where you can see um, just a little bit of that peeking through. And the next one, I'm going to use my E35. Now sometimes if I lose that very first shade, I can just go back in with it, raise my eyebrow a little bit and just kind of go back in with it, make sure it shows. Now in with something a little bit darker so I'm gonna go in with hmm. um, all right so I'm gonna take my a Sigma e25 brush and we're gonna go in with the shade raw and I'm just gonna actually tap this on the outer corner and then put that just above the crease as well just to darken it up Because I know on camera these shades are so similar it looks like you can't see anything so I'm just gonna actually even deepen that up I brought out my modern Renaissance palette and I'm gonna take the shade Cypress Umber and I'm gonna repeat the last step so I'm gonna put this kind of on my outer corner and work that into the crease just a little bit Deepened it up just a little bit, so I'm gonna go back in with my E35 and just kind of blend that out a little bit. Okay. All right. Now we are going to cut the crease and it's okay if you get shadow like in here. I do it all the time. No big deal. We're going to cover that up anyway. Um, let's see. I like using to, to cut the crease. I usually like using my NYX professional makeup brush, I guess number 14. It's just a little flat brush and I'm going to be using my Tarte shape tape. <laughs> All right, so I take this just seriously a little bit at a time. Um, I don't go all crazy with it. So another one of my tricks that I do is I actually have to do this with my eye open. And I'll show you why here in just a moment. So just kind of pat. Ooh, that was a lot. Whip that off a little bit. Start just like you would on the lid. Huh. 
However, when I get to this top part, this is where it gets tricky. This is when I have to open my eye, look completely straight. Let's see if I can zoom you in. All right. So I have to look completely straight and do this with my eye open. It's because, my, like I said, because I have hooded lids, I don't wanna look down, I'm so sorry. All right, there we go. Because I have hooded lids, I actually have to make a new crease. So I tap right there and I just go ahead and begin to cut the crease with a new line. Once I got my main line going, then I can close my eye and just kind of bring it down. And then I open my eye back up, look straight ahead, and if any of it has sunken in a little bit, then I will just make that line a little bit bigger. Open it up again, check, and then I can just kind of straighten this line out a little bit. And this is exactly why I bring up my colors so high. Since I do have to make a new crease, you want to be able to see all the other shades that you just used. All right, so when I close my eyes and I look straight, I have my new line. And then I'm going to take, let's see. Let's do Daydream and put that on the lid. try my finger then. A lot better with the finger. To blend my cut creases, I usually really do use my finger to blend out the edges because you don't want a harsh edge on the side. You just want to cut that crease. So this I'll blend with my finger. All right. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye and I'll be right back. Okay, so one of the final things that I like to do once I get this on my eyes is I will take my brush and I'll just go over the line that we created and just make sure that it's really packed on there so you can tell where we cut the crease. And just sharpen that edge. And this is where I can make fix any mistakes. Maybe it's a little crooked. I can go back with my brush and fix it. So we have officially cut the crease. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put on my liner, my eyelashes, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and I did my brows and my mascara and my eyeliner, and I just happened to use an eyeliner that I kind of don't like just to get rid of it. Um, but what I wanna do, I wanna do a brow bone highlight. 
So I'm gonna go in. Don't really have many options with this palette. Um, I, I guess I'm just gonna go in with this one more time, this base color, and kind of use that. All right, so we are all done. So this is the final look. So this is my half cut crease. I have not tried a full cut crease yet. So when I figure that one out, <laughs> I'll do another video. Quick side note, testing this out. The colors are beautiful. The mattes blended really, really well. Um, I had to use my finger with this and it didn't really go on very well with my brush. Um, but I can't wait to continue testing it out and see what I think. Let me just swatch the rest. I just want to swatch the rest. <gasps> They're so pretty. Oh, love it. Oh, oh my gosh. I should have put that on my lid. <gasps> look at that. Look at that. Oh, that's gorgeous. Let's look at this gold one. These are amazing. If you guys are gonna use any kind of glitters, um, I don't know if these will work on that, but I just bought these because I bought some like little, I bought some little loose glitters and they work really well. So if I have to use those, oh yeah, I'm gonna have to use that on this. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so sparkly. Oh, I love it. I'm definitely gonna have to come back and do a look with those glitters because it is so pretty. You guys know I did have to go in with the Modern Renaissance palette to kind of deepen up this look, but it's still a beautiful palette. I can still create really fun looks with it. And if I need another shade, I can just pull from another palette. So that's not a big deal, but I cannot wait to play in this some more. So you will see a glitter look coming soon. <laughs> All right, guys, so that is it for this video. I hope you found my tips a little bit helpful, but bottom line, do whatever works for you. If you do not do your makeup this way, it is okay. You do not have to. Do whatever works for you. I also have a Christmas giveaway going on. If you guys have not already seen that video, I will have that link for you up in the cards right here. Um, and in this video, I'm going to be giving you guys a bonus entry opportunity. So the very first thing, of course, you must be entered on the original video already. That is a requirement. So for the bonus entry, what I want you to do is I want you to leave me a little Christmas tree emoji down below and let me know what your favorite palette is to use. What is your ultimate go-to palette? I would absolutely love to know. So do that and that's gonna be your bonus entry for this video. Make sure you guys are following me on all my social media, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, because I will have bonus entries for those as well. Could be more than one, you never know. So. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you did like this video, please give it a big old thumbs up for me and I'll see you next time. Bye.